Well, we are well into three months in the coronavirus pandemic, and we're still seeing some spikes in cases. So what are our state health officials doing to try to contain the spike? And once again, to reduce the spread, if you will. Joining us right now, Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health. Dr. Landers, good morning. Hello, Pat. How are you today? Fine, thanks. A Memorial Day holiday, as you know, Dr. Landers, was kind of the jump-off point for a number of people out there, many of them getting out. We're seeing some spikes in cases a couple of weeks or more after that. How do you reinstill the importance of the social distancing and kind of reel people back in, telling them, hey, we have a long way to go with this? Well, we have to look at the numbers, and we continue to see widespread coronavirus cases in the state of Alabama. And when we see that, what we know is we have a minimal way to reduce this, and that is the social distancing, the respiratory hygiene, good hand washing, hand sanitizing, and the use of the cloth face covering uh, when in public. I think these are measures that have been repeated over and over and over, but they're the only measures we really have right now to reduce the spread of this virus. And these must be undertaken in order to protect not only persons themselves, but the community at large. Dr. Landers, July 3rd has almost been circled and highlighted on a lot of folks' calendars. It marks the end of Governor Kay Ivey's amended Safer at Home order July 3rd, next Friday. So given the trends that we've seen the last three months or so, what's your recommendation as a state health official to the governor in regards to the order going forward? Well, of course, our state health officer, Dr. Scott Harris, has continued to present a number of options to the governor regarding the coronavirus pandemic in order for her to make decisions. So I think that further information will be forthcoming regarding that once the governor has an opportunity to review those options. Just try to gauge your thoughts on how people are reacting to all this. Obviously, this is a very serious pandemic. Yet you have some folks out there not wearing masks, not social distancing, and so on. So what do you tell those folks? I, I, I guess, you know, should there be some mandatory action to wear masks if you're within six feet? We're just trying to make sure that we're all in sync on this message, Dr. Landers. Well, absolutely, and certainly uh, it's up to cities and municipalities to make decisions that are in the best interest of their citizens. But while any action of that nature uh, is being considered, persons certainly can just go ahead and take their own personal responsibility to carry out the social distancing, the respiratory hygiene, and the cloth face covering. Again, you can do that on your own. Uh, you really don't have to be mandated to do it. You can do that on your own and do it for your own protection. All right, so let's talk about businesses really quickly while we still have you. Uh, businesses who have employees that have tested positive. One local business was impacted, said it self-reported to the health department, which did not encourage it to close. And health officials say it's not a requirement to close. It's just a recommendation so they can have time to sanitize and clean the facility. Should, though, it be a requirement to close if you have a positive case in those uh, establishments? Well, really, this has to be based upon the, uh, the case investigation and the contact tracing. For example, we did have a food establishment in another part of Alabama that a, an employee reported to be positive, but that employee had not worked in that establishment for 12 days. So we have to look at the individual elements of the case. And regardless of whether a facility closes or not, which again depends on uh, the case investigation and the contact tracing, there has to be ongoing activity for screening employees who are ill. They should not be working when they're ill. They should not be working if they have a coronavirus test pending. In other words, they are a person under investigation. And ongoing sanitizing has to be a measure that is undertaken every day in every facility. Certainly the hard work continues for you health officials. We really appreciate you. Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health. Thanks for joining us this morning again. Thank you. All right, time now is 6.10 on your Wednesday morning.